Um, I'm working in Ada ILS. So that's the yeah, locality community team. I wasn't really planning to go into adult social care and actually it's worked out to be really, really good for me. So I kind of feel really enthusiastic about sharing that because um, my, I qualified in 2020. So I've been qualified nearly two years and I kind of always planned to work in mental health. And I actually lined up a job on a ward in mental health. But then obviously 2020 happened um, and I did four months on the ward and I just it wasn't manageable. It wasn't flexible enough. I couldn't really continue. And I found this role in ILS and I I wasn't sure that I would be suitable for it because I didn't feel experienced enough. Well, I wasn't. Well, you always feel like that when you're newly qualified, don't you, I suppose. But but I didn't have experience as an OTA or in physical disability. So I did or moving and handling. So I did feel quite unsure if it would be right for me. But actually, it's been, you know, it's been great. And the the best thing has been the kind of the support and the expectation. There hasn't been that expectation that I know everything. And that's, you know, to reassure you, that's really nice, you know, to know that there's a lot of training available and a lot of support and, you know, there is a lot to learn. And I think actually now, kind of a year and a bit on, I realise how much there always is to learn. And even working alongside really experienced people, we're always learning. It's always you know a continual kind of yeah <laughs> new things come up uh, in terms of the positives for me definitely the flexibility has really is a massive bonus you know working around family life being able to work from home is a positive but you know I would say that's also one of the challenges as well I haven't been able to have that much face-to-face -face training and not got to know people in the way that I would have liked to but actually I think that's changing and we are kind of doing a bit more face-to-face -face stuff much more face-to-face -face training so yeah I mean that is a challenge but I think that must be across the board really and yeah and that flexibility you know being able to kind of be a bit flexible with my hours um, being able to do a short day not having to do full time that's that's been fantastic for me and that was something that I wasn't able to get in the NHS they just wanted me to work full time and that wasn't really negotiable so yeah so in terms of my day ILS independent living service we work with adults who have acquired a disability so over 18 but it, so it can be really broad Parkinson's dementia um, a lot of kind of age related conditions um, arthritis fibromyalgia motor neuron disease, lots and lots. I have my own caseload, which I can manage myself. And I think another nice thing about this team is that it's not crisis, you know, it's a long term service. So you kind of see people a bit further down the line in there after they've acquired their disability and you're supporting them to stay at home, to be independent. You know, you can work on those long term goals with people. So you kind of you build that rapport and that relationship with people, which is really nice. You work with carers families you know all the kind of social things that go with that and you're working alongside carers you're working with interdisciplinary working with social workers physios different teams yeah moving a lot of moving and handling things which I thought was quite out of my depth and quite I just didn't really know anything about it but actually that's yeah it's been really interesting I really like it I'm, I'm kind of surprised myself and what i what I do like, you know, what I've what I've enjoyed the most. 